Hey again. Let's read a bit about these things we found. I'm especially interested in... Preston's plant. Fauna. No? Flora. Of course. Preston's plant. Preston's plant consists of semi-translucent leaves and a sweet fruiting berry. It is hardy and capable of growing in even the harshest of climates. The fruit contains a paralytic agent that humans are unable to properly metabolize. But for certain animals, it can act as something of a mild sedative. Really? First thought, am I going to be using this like a flare almost? Delightful to some. I ate it. Delicious. <laughs> I'm taking a couple of these, if you don't mind. I'm eating another one. And then I'm going to plant some at home. Oh, here we go. Marble melon. I remember these. I'm taking a couple of those. Oh, this is a big one. This is a small one. Small for me. Anything else I need to be scanning in here? I can scan Margaret! You can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. Marguerite? Huh? Yo, what is that? Name? Marguerite Maida. Occupation? Freelance security personnel. Status? Missing. Previously thought to be dead. Last known contact was on a recording found in another sector of 4546B, which claims that she killed the Reaper Leviathan. Personality markers. Marguerite is highly distrustful of authority figures, especially those tied to corporate entities. She is strong-willed and seems cold upon initial contact. History. Not much is known about Marguerite. She was born and raised in the Mongolian states, a backwater corporate colony exploited for its mineral resources. She left home at 16 and went on and went from one mercenary job to another. Eventually, she did tours with the Mongolian Defense Force and Trans System Federation. She held an esteemed career before being dishonorably discharged from the TSF for going off mission. So the Trans System Federation. Okay. The details are unclear, but our resources have unearthed some scant details. Marguerite was the head of an intel and reconnaissance mission. We aren't clear what she stumbled upon, but she silently eliminated the entire local security apparatus over the course of three days. None of the local families would have given more information. They only said they thanked God's hand for saving them. Her last mission was aboard the Degazi as private security against potential pirates and scavengers, which crashed on 4546B. Man, is she not interested in getting off this place? Huh? Come on, man. You gotta... You gotta get off of here. You don't want to live here forever. Unless she does. I mean, it's free of uh, corporate entities, I guess. Well, almost. Altera is here, and that's why she hates them so much. Okay. Alright, dude. Thanks. I'll be on my way. Let's check out what you got over here. Not much. Well, alright then. Hold on, let me get it get let me get back in. I did want to read about the stuff we scanned related to Alan. Alien data. The satellite. It actually does look like one. This satellite bears the clear markings of the architect civilization. It appears to have crash landed, though its structural integrity remains surprisingly intact. This satellite's internal design indicates that it was likely used for long-range data transmission. The data transmission node in the storage housing has long been corrupted by exposure to the elements. Man, they were fucking occupying this planet, huh? Satellites, guns, alien facilities, everything. The hydrothermal spire? That looks kind of nasty, the... I think it's sulfur running down the side there. These chimney-shaped structures are formed from dissolved minerals pushed upwards through the planet's crust. 
The presence of metal sulfides gives the escaping material its dark, opaque appearance. Aquatic life found in proximity may have evolved adaptations to the presence of these toxic compounds. Assessment, long-term exposure to geothermal emissions may pose a risk to human health. Yeah, but it may also give me energy to run a base. Let's see here. Herbivore small, boomerang. Well, we know about this one. A mirrored fish. A herbivore c encountered in large numbers, found to frequent shallow waters and move in schools. Serrated teeth. Suggests adaptation for grinding corals. Other herbivores are unable to digest. Twin fins. Unusually, this species' two fins are a cartilaginous extension of its skeleton. They are less prone to damage and provide superior propulsion, but are also harder to grow back. The bright blue tips are in fact the ends of its digestive tract, where the luminescence of the corals it consumes is most focused. Most active during daylight hours and prone to flee on approach, the boomerang can more easily be observed at night when its luminescence gives it away and it seeks the shelter of the seabed. Assessment, tasty. This motherfucker right here. In fact, I remember everything about this. Defense mechanism, it evolved all this. I remember this from the first game. Pinacarid. This is such a cutie. This is the one we saw flailing around on the ice shelf as well. An intelligent and curious creature which hunts and forages below the waterline, but returns to the surface to breathe. Wow, okay. So it can't breathe underwater. Its many flippers make this an acrobatic hunter underwater, but vulnerable on land, where it is capable at best of a fast shuffle. <laughs> Generally consume small fish. Its diet may also include various plant materials. Side-facing eyes, unusual for a predator. These likely serve as a defensive warning system. Purple-tinted antenna on the head detect the movement of prey fish nearby. Shows no aggression towards humans, and even curiosity if there is the chance of a meal. Assessment friendly. Can I feed these? I want to feed them. So bad. What do we have here? The Luna plant. This is the one I thought were the spiral plant clippings plant, but it's not. The Luna plant grows in shallow water. Branches grow off of the main stem and create irregular rudimentary chambers. If one branch dies or is destroyed, the other branch's chambers will utilize the nutrients left behind. Eventually, a new chamber will grow in the empty space. That's very smart. Actually. The scaly maw anemone. That looks cool, man. The scaly maw anemone prefers shallow water and ample exposure to sunlight, and exists in a symbiotic relationship with a species of vibrant algae that live atop the anemone's trunk. These algae thrive in the sun and create a thin scaly bacterial mat around the structure of the anemone as they feed on other microorganisms that filter through the anemone's water space. I just love that they have all these descriptions of all this plant life. It's really cool. I know about the propulsion cannon. I remember from the first game. And the interior grow bed is, I guess, only for interior plants. Designed for use exclusively inside regulated habitat modules. The interior grow bed is more compact than the outdoor version and features a hydroponic nutrient delivery system. Cool. Nice. We're all caught up. Let me uh, collapse this. And we have a bunch of voice logs, but that's just talking with Margaret. Marguerite. And a bunch of new blueprints for planters and stuff like that. Look at all the water I have. Maybe that's a bit too much. Hello? Oh, this rotten now. Fuck. Yeah, that's bad. Don't want to eat rotten fish. Hey, uh, Maida. This is my thanks to you. We can feed on this later. Rotten fish for you. Just sort of weirdly... Doing that. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move on. There are many things I want to do. Back to the seat. Wait. Frost vase plant. 
Yo, that is beautiful looking. What the hell? Iodine content useful for chemical application. Really? Hold on. No way. I'm grabbing a bunch of these then. While I'm here? Holy shit. Yoink. Thank you. Alright. I think I'm good now. Hoi! Yeah! Oh! Okay. Back to the sea truck. Man, are those whale songs that I'm hearing? I kind of want to go to the deep below me, see what's there. It's complete nothingness when you look down. Very concerning, actually. Makes me a little anxious. Back to the sea truck. I love that all the whole fish are here. I'm gonna go underneath and then use my bladder. Whoa! Inside we go. Let's move! Okay. Next up, we gotta remove the Delta Station dock. I don't wanna go back there. But I do want to go back to... Let's see. Uh... I'm not sure. I want to explore the Omega Lab now. So where's that exactly? There. Deep base. And that's that way, huh? Okay, you know what? That's fine. Let's go deep. I want to see what's down here. Oh, man, this is so scary. Oh, that thing is... That's not good. That's not That's not good. So that's what's down there, huh? Maybe I do not want to go down An there then. Volcano detected nearby. What? Really? Wait, this one? Yo. What? Oh, that looks so cool! Oh my god. Hold on. What the fuck? We gotta explore this immediately. And not only that... Inactive volcano. The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. Oh yeah? I wish to know about that. I guess this is an alien structure designed to... Uh, gather energy from this volcano. Back when it was active, I guess. Ground sampler. Oh. And look at this. Ion cubes for me. Man, can I go down there? Dude. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, that's scary. That's scary. Let's take a look at the 3D map. Oh, it does go down. Should I be going down here? That's a bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Up, 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 up. I need air anyway. Take me. Up, 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 up. Whoo! Take that. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, okay. Let's see what I found. 
ground sampler. This alien artifact appears to be a programmable robot that collects and analyzes samples of soil and rock. Scans indicate the presence of equipment closely analogous to human-built lasers and spectrograph analysis equipment. Alan, what do you mean? The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. What the hell are you on about? Anyway, I'm gonna quickly take a look again. Now that we have full air. I need to go down all the way. This is so cool, man. Imagine having a base down here. I guess this is where we need the reinforced dive suit. There's no path, right? Oh shit. Up, 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 up. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Bad idea, bad idea. There's nothing else, right? Nothing. Alright, back out we go. I thought maybe there would be a little offshoot cave down there or something. Oh shit. Should it be quiet, maybe? <sighs> Kinda wanna scan it. I think I'm gonna scan it. Be brave. This is a bad idea, isn't it? This is a bad idea, isn't it? Oh no! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh my god! Oh, fuck, that was terrifying. Are you kidding me? Oh. All right, we're not doing that. Nope, we're leaving. We're leaving. We are out of here. Where's my marker? Huh? Bro, where is my marker? For the deep base. Uh. Oh! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Shit! Run! Where's the marker? There's no marker. What the fuck? Is it bugged? It was bugged. Fuck me. Oh! Okay. Okay. What's this? Aquarium module. I need that. Awesome. Keep going. Oh. Fuck. Okay, we're actually right here. That's incredible. Now we just need to find our way down. I can't believe I got eaten like that. I mean, I, I don't know what I expected, honestly. <laughs> that was a stupid decision. Why did I do that? I definitely need some kind of stasis weapon, right? Just like the first game. Stop it in its, in its tracks and then scan it. Fuck, that was terrifying. I'm sweating from that, dude. Architect body cache. Wait, did I ever... What? That's a new one. Is it not? We need to find pieces of the body. Apparently that's here. So that means there's a different... Deeper part here. That I, qu that I can't quite see right now. Maybe if I go off in one of these caves, they will lead me down there. Anyway, what was I doing here again? I actually forgot why I came back here. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
Maybe just to deposit things. Equip this one. Shit, I always need titanium, man. Constantly. Here we go. Silver. Boo! That's nickel. Oh, look, yeah, alien. I don't remember if I already did this down here. I don't think I did. Let's do it now. We should be close. This is a very long path. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not gonna catch me now. Oh, air. I was hoping for this. Made it. Here we go. Architect body cash. Oh, shit. Yo, how nice is that? Is that what they looked like? Architect component. Here we go. Skeletal structure. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Yeah, it's really nice here. What do we have here? This is actually such a peaceful place. I like it a lot. Let's read. Architect skeletal structure. A dense synthetic skeletal structure made from unknown alien components. It is estimated that the skeletal material would score a 10 on the Mohs test for material hardness. It is highly resistant to shattering due to its incredibly strong impact strength. Cool. Ancient ornamental plant. Molecular scans point to an incredibly slow cell metabolism. Hold on. This waterfall is a little... This fountain is a little too loud. Uh, incredibly slow cell metabolism, which is backed up by carbon dating. The plant cells appear to be engaged in a process known as transdifferentiation. This process alters the state of the cells and transforms them to a new cell type over time. Through this process, the plant continuously replaces any poor biological material, allowing it to potentially live for incredibly long periods of time. Wait, isn't this what plants do all the time? Like any plant? Maybe not. The carefully regulated structure of this plant's cellular biology and the intentional nature of its display amongst other alien artifacts suggests that the architects designed and cultivated this plant for some kind of aesthetic or cultural purpose that we can only speculate about. You don't need to speculate too much, it's pretty! It is just aesthetics, what can I say? Okay. I guess there's nothing else for me in here. Let's see here. Did we uncover any of this then? We did. The skeleton. So we need to find tissue and the organs as well. Alright. 
Good thing to start with a skeleton, though, and then fill the skeleton with the meat. I like how I came here just for titanium and ended up finding ancient artifacts. But I guess I knew it was here. Alan did tell me the first time I arrived here. Come on, titanium. Yes, there it is. Oh, not that plant. Not today, sir. Let's find the way back to the base. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope. It's this way. <laughs> Fuck! Shit! Oh, that caught me off guard! God damn! Oh! Where's my base? Here. Keep going up. Oh, I hate those things so much. Fuck! <sighs> At least we made it. Oh, my heart can't take this. Man, look at this beautiful base, huh? That is something. Now, all of this just to make a locker. Oh, these are getting bad. They're going bad. Oh no, uh... Ah, fuck, I need more titanium for planters. Remove this. Four? Hold on, were these outdoor or indoor? Uh, I believe they are indoor, right? I saw them in the cave. Fuck yeah. That's all I needed to do. Now they can grow forever. Just eat a bunch of these while they last. And then? What's this? Recycles items into their constituent parts. Yo! That's sick! Are you kidding me? That's really good. I don't... Unfortunately, I don't have a ingot on me. Oh no, Preston's delight is rotten. Uh shit. I need more titanium, fuck. Just one more titanium. Two more titanium. I hate this thing, it's gonna grab me! Uh, mm. Fuck off! Jesus. Ah. <sighs> This place is sorely lacking in titanium. Need that prawn suit. ASAP. Come on, one more. Here. No, that's nickel. Shit. It's all nickel. Man, I have emptied this place of titanium. There's nothing left. Nope, that's nickel as well. This is unreal. Give me that, I guess. Come on! One more! 
A singular fucking titanium! Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> oh no, I have no more battery as well. Oh, this is horrible. This is insane. Let's go up and look up here. Here we go, here we go. No! Yes! There we go. Let's move. Now I'm gonna plant uh, Preston's Delight before it goes completely rotten. Uh, let's see here. Planter. Let's make a composite one. Uh, rotten. Sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that! Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I made it. Thank God. In fact, uh, take one of these. And put in a melon. That way we have one of each. That's good. Okay, that was stressful. For a second I thought if uh, these would disappear if they got too rotten. I don't think that's the case though. Yeah, eat these. Get rid of them. Okay. Batteries are recharged. Sight for sore eyes that is. Anything else needs battery? I think we are good on that. Alright. Fill it up. That one. And... I think we're fine. Now I want to go... to Omega Lab. Should be right above us. I want to finish exploring that place. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. In fact, I'm taking my sea truck. It's way further up. Let's see, it is about... Wait, it's further up still? I guess it is. Alright, let's go. Up, 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 up. Ouch. Is this it? Hold on. So quiet. I don't know if it's further down or further up. Uh oh. Shit! Wait, is it right here? No. Yeah, actually. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Where the hell was this? I am losing my mind. I'm just destroying my sea truck here. I think it was down here. Let me get out. Ah, oh, here it is. I know exactly where it is now. It's a little bit uh, this way. Down here. Oh, shit. Reached. Hull damage imminent. What? Should be right here, no? Dude, I have no idea. Huh? Where the fuck did I find this last time? 
I saw a clear cave in the 3D display last time I was here. I'm losing my mind. It must have been further up then. I'm seeing something. No, that's just a little cave. It's not actually a tunnel. Wait, I see something now. Here. Wait, where am I on the map? I am there. There it is. Okay. Let's grab the sea truck. I see now. It was way further up than I remembered. Hold on, what's this? What a nice little plant. Okay, here we go. Further up. I'm scared of that thing. Ow! Why do I keep crashing into things? I can't believe it. I, I'm already lost again. This is fucking unreal. When I, whenever I enter my sea truck, it's like I lose all sense of direction. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Perfect. Whew. Man. I was slowly losing my mind there. Alright, here we are. We're back. Jesus Christ. That took way too long. I'm just happy I made it. Oh. Antenna plant. That's new. I took that one. I remember that. Let's have a flashlight. Bulkhead. Big. Oh man, look at all this. PDAs. Investigation report. Omega Laboratory. Oh. Control room. I think I have that already. Aromatherapy lamp. Nice. Oh. Focus the task revolution. Okay. Oh, man. Batteries. I can't take them, unfortunately. Enzyme mutation study. Power cell charger! Yes! That's what I need. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I know. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs> this place is awesome. That's a cool looking base. Let me go in here. Oh, vending machine. Oh, we got more personnel. Dr. Danielle Valenti. That's a PDA light. Flirting. Danielle's bed. I don't know if I should be scanning that. Oh my god, that's awesome. Wait, picture? I, I didn't see a picture. Sam and Danielle, it looked like. 
Vin Pham. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Sing wait, single bed? Oh, scan, of course. I thought, wait a minute, can I sleep in this? I was so confused. Postcard. Wish you were here. Oh, man. Some kind of virus there. Is that Kara? Dude. Everything is fucked. Where is everybody? So sad. Did I miss anything else in here? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. All right. Not bad at all, huh? I do want to take a look around the facility just a little bit. Maybe we can find spiral plant clippings in here. Hold on, there's lights going in that direction too. But I guess it's just going out of here, you know? This is like a little cave inside the big rock. Yeah. Okay. The hell happened here? Something exploded. Oh! Multi-purpose room glass dome! Let's go! Yeah! Nice! I want that! Alright. Let's move on. Back down to the deep base. I'm gonna be installing things. And it's gonna look glorious. Okay. Go as deep as we can. Actually, wait a minute. I have an idea. Here's what I'm gonna... What? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Just write this up like this. Like that. And then I'm gonna quickly deposit some stuff. I just need a free inventory here. Actually, batteries are good to have on me. Because now I wanna go... On a bit of an expedition around around the world. And see if I can't find spiral plants. Because I need to make synthetic fibers. It's quite important that I do so. It is the bottleneck that is currently limiting me from getting deeper with my sea truck. Fuck! I hate when it's so loud, man. It sounds like it's right next to me. It's not good for my heart. Let's look for spiral plants. I have a feeling those plants may be deep. I don't even know where I'm going right now, and that's fine with me. I'm just wandering off in a random direction. Don't even care about predators. Nope, I don't care about you. I don't. Keep moving. Oh, this is devoid of life. Maybe that's where they reside. Oh, I don't like this. I need to go on foot now. Hold on. We can go a little further. We can sort of skirt around. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, get out. We're going on foot. 
What's gonna be down here? We're going east right now. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. Yo, what? Should I be going down here? Warning. Entering ecological dead zone. The prospect for survival is fast approaching zero. I don't know if that's the game telling me I'm at the edge of the map. Or if... Yeah. That's bad. Oh man, we're so deep? Holy fuck. Uh, back to the... Where's my thing? There. We get so easily uh, confused down here in the deep. Very ominous music here too. Okay, so hold on. I am north, so I'm like uh, southeast 1.5 kilometers of the pot. So that would mean I am somewhere. Let's see here. The pot is somewhere here, I think. We must be all the way over here. How about we keep going north until we hit this ice shelf and then we go along the ice shelf and maybe check out the bottom. Maybe those plants that we're looking for are there. Yeah, let's go. In fact, I'm going to go a little northwest, just a tiny amount. Help. I like to see that. Plant life is returning. Wait, is that? It is. Yeah, and that means that. Activate the perimeter defense in case we need it. Oh god, that thing is creepy. But it's not as creepy anymore now that I know what its insides look like. I have been inside its mouth. It can't it can't be worse. I am scanning by the way with my eyes for spiral looking plants. And I'm not seeing any. Well, at least not in this area. Ice. Man, there's no plant life here. go along the wall now and then we're going sort of west now I think I'm skirting the edges of the map here I have a feeling this plant I'm looking for is in a biome I haven't yet been in but it's also possible that I missed it I would say the former is more likely Absolutely nothing here. No, 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 no. Oh my god, there's another one of those. Big ones. Shh. Why am I going this way? What am I doing? It's not coming. Good. 
But this area looks intriguing, actually. It's very blue looking. Look at that texture there on the bottom. No, leave me alone. Kelp. You know what? Let's scour the bottom of the kelp forest. Bound to be plenty of vegetation there, right? Spiral plants. Clipping. Maybe down here in these caves. Or not. Yeah, I feel like if it was here, I would have seen it by now. That's a sea monkey nest. Man, I've been wandering forever. Okay, you know what? We're actually close to home. I'm gonna head home, restock, refuel, all that. And then I'm gonna head in a completely different direction next time. To actually try and find these spiral plant clippings. Because I need it. I need it bad. Maybe this is also the biome for that. Anyway, I'm gonna check that next time. Thanks for watching. See you the next. Bye-bye.